you're about to see Colton. Are you still in love with him? Are there still feelings there? Um, I was in love with him. And deep down, I thought it was going to be us and there was no other option. Right. Um, but right now, no. I, I know what love is and it has to be a two-way street. And I feel like I deserve somebody who loves me just as much as I love them. Obviously, that's how it works. Right. Um, so, no, I'm not in love with him well, anymore. If you're ready, let's bring him out. Colton. Thanks for coming back out. I've had an emotional conversation, and I'm just going to hand it over to you. I know there's some questions I'm sure you want answers to. So. Well, hi. Hi. This is <laughs> crazy. Um, I mean, I don't really know what other words to put into this besides that I loved you. And I thought you felt the exact same way. You told me that you were falling in love with me and that I should trust you every single minute I was with you. And you asked for my dad's blessing and I thought it was, I thought it was us. And you didn't give me any reasons to think otherwise. Um, I think I have a million different questions and a million different emotions, but I think something that I can't stop thinking about is why you gave everybody a chance until you couldn't anymore. Um, but why wasn't that the case with me? If you thought that there was, I mean, you literally said you thought it was us the whole time. Yeah, and I think that statement's fair of you having that question. And for me, I tried my hardest to stay as open as I could. I knew heading into that week, it was going to be the most challenging and the hardest for me to do that. Um, and I think with you, it was a realization of how much I gave myself to somebody else that I couldn't continue on knowing that I wasn't going to be all in because in that moment when I was having that conversation with Cassie, like I didn't want to lose her and I knew like I didn't want to, my life to go on without her in it. So I couldn't do that to you to where you were a backup plan or you were, that's, and it sounds bad, but like you don't deserve that and you know you don't deserve that. I just, I, I feel like I have so many, like, what if yeah. scenarios, and that's not what life's about, but, like, you know, I've been dealing with this every day. It's been really hard. Um, do you think that if we would have had, or you said it yourself, like, if we would have had more time, do you think that this possibly would have been a different situation? I just can't help but think, like, I thought everything was there, and... I'm glad you followed your gut and all of that, but I, I wouldn't have, it, it was never an option in my mind to not want to be with you, ever. Um, I don't know, do you think if, I, like I didn't even know you had been on other dates when yeah. you came. I thought it was the first date and everything, I had no clue. Um, do you think if you would have given that a chance, do you think it would have been a thing or do you think it was not me, clearly, the whole time. I think, like, looking back, I could have played the what-if game in a lot of situations. And I think even up until Fantasy Suite Week, you know, much like you were saying earlier, it's like you've watched this show before. And I've watched it and seen sort of the format. And I even got caught up in that, too. And playing by the rules or the unwritten rules of The Bachelor and what it was supposed to be. But this is our lives. You know, after this, and after this all goes away, you go on about your lives and your relationships. And 
how I was feeling in another relationship at that time was, was stronger. Um, and that sounds brutal, but I just, you deserve the honesty. Um, I'm not gonna beat, I don't wanna beat around the bush um, or seem like I'm being insensitive, but that was just the, the case in the situation. Colton, did you ever consider just having that final overnight date with Hannah? Um, to be honest with you, no. After, after that night and after yeah. running away and after being done, because you know, you were there that night. Yeah, I, I just didn't know. I don't know if we ever talked about that or if you yeah. thought, you know what, just let me see. Let me just slow things down and just yeah. have one more date. Um, the night that I ran away and the night that I quit The Bachelor and I didn't want to be The Bachelor anymore, um, which looking back was a little selfish because I had to still have conversations with you and Tasha. But I, the emotions were running high. My emotions were everywhere. And I think in that moment, the show was over. You know, in that moment that was bigger than the show, you know, that was my relationship, that's my life. And I'm gonna do anything I can to fight for that. I feel like, I feel like I can relate in a sense to that feeling because I don't know how to say this the right way. But what Cassie did to you was exactly what you did to me. And I was left with nothing. I, I thought that you, were gonna chase me, as crazy as that sounds. Like, I would tell one of the producers to like, I was like, tell me to brush my hair if he comes, like whatever, the next week. And, and you did it. And I, I just didn't have a reason to believe otherwise. And I just trusted you so much. And I don't know, I just take that word, like falling in love, just, I know that you have to follow your heart and that's huge. But for me, it has been really, really difficult. And I don't know. And I'll, it's not been fun. I, I can't imagine it being. And I'll say, I mean, I obviously value everything that we went through together. And the one thing, you know, I could always say about our relationship was like, no matter what was going on in the house, you know, there was just that certain, like, that certainty and that stability. And then leading up into the last week, where things changed for me in that relationship with Cassie, that I just couldn't continue to be in other relationships. And I think it is what it is, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't feel like a slap in the face seeing you tell Cassie that you thought about her while you're with other people. That sucked. Yeah. Yeah. Is that something you really felt or is that something you just said in the moment? I think that was, that's something I felt. And I think that's, when I knew like I was all in. Like I was 100% hers and I couldn't do anything about it. Hannah, final word before we say goodbye. Um, I didn't want this to be like a whole grilling thing or at all. I just think I came into this wedding closure and um, I am really happy for you. And having all of these months of struggling and going through a really big heartbreak that was really really real for me, um, showed me how strong I am and how I can handle way more than I ever, ever imagined that I could and handling things by myself um, has taught me what I deserve and what I want in life. So, I don't know, I want somebody to, I don't know, jump a fence for me, you know? Like, <laughs> I need that kind of like <laughs> relationship, but. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm happy to. Hannah, thanks for being out here. You guys give it up for Hannah.